On this episode of Grassroots Garage, we have BJ's beautiful 1000 Ute. That's okay, we've got a red light, I'll yeah. do my introductions and uh, the camera feels very close because this car's we're in a tight, we're in BJ's yeah. beautiful little 1000 U. it's very cosy. BJ, thanks for your time. Yeah, it's a pleasure, mate. Mate, tell us about your car. Uh, a little Mazda 1000 U, uh, 12 bay Bridgie, Weber, uh, Bog Warner rear end, Series 1 box, uh, fully built by Fit Rotary in New Orleans. It's a 76 1000 Ute um, Trayback. Bought it about oh, 10 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it went to my best mate for a couple of years while I lived in WA. And then um, when I come back over to New South Wales, I bought it back. Um, had a 12A mild port in it originally. Um, got the 12A Bridgie built by Viz Rotary. Um, basically, dropped it in there for a, a new dash and a brake upgrade. And, the car ended up getting a full rebuild top to bottom. Um, <laughs> it always happens. Yeah, I just asked him if he knew a good painter and then it snowballed to pretty much a shell. Um, so yeah, he pretty much done it from top to bottom. It's got a Sean's custom alloy um, radiator oil cooler set up. 
um, Gilmer drives, yeah. Um, Bog Warner rear end, Series 1 box, 3 inch tail shaft. Um, yeah, basically it's just a good fun cruiser. It's um, done 17s, 174 I think it was. That was me backing off and with a pretty chunky gearbox, but um, the goal is to run a, a 14 in it. Nice. Um, just NA, Carby. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's the goal in the car and hopefully I'll get there. Beautiful. Yeah. It's got um, fiberglass guards. Or, um, yeah, fiberglass guards. Um, They're making them, are they? Yeah, from, um, I can't remember the name of the place down in Port, uh, Easy Glass, sorry. Easy Glass? Okay. Yeah, so we got them and um, Convo Pros. It's running 14, uh, 15 by 4s on the front, 15 by 7.5 on the rear. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, basically, like I said, Viz just put it all together for me. I just got to drop it off and then pick it up, which was awesome. How handy is that? Yeah. Um, and yeah, it hasn't missed a beat, so um, this is the second revival I've been at, and yeah, it's kicked ass both times, so. You said 12A? Uh, 12A Bridgie. Bridgie, nice. Yeah, 48 mil Weber on it. Uh, the interior? Yeah, the interior got done by X-Trim. Yeah. Um, I, I had the seats in it originally, and um, it had like an old, it had an old alloy dash in it that wasn't covered. Okay. Um, and they put the the gauges where I wanted them, and um, retrimmed it all for me. Put all new door cards in it. Yeah. They used to have carpet on the roof. Oh really? Um, when I yeah, bought it, nice. and um, Xtrim bought the wires from Phil's Rotary and mm -hmm. fixed it all for me for a really good price and carpeted it. Yeah, I was I was stoked. Kind of nice, eh? Yeah, just like a carbon fibre vinyl. Yeah. It um, turned out way better than I could have imagined it, to be honest. Sick, man. Yeah, and the wooden the wooden tray was um, built by the previous owner and a good mate of mine. Yeah. Um, it used to be black with marine ply on it, um, and they stripped it all. Um, it was green before this. The whole car was green before I painted it. And it's had the wooden tray, so they built that at home, Sick. all done themselves. So what's next for the car? Uh, saving up for a, a turbo, an auto, yeah. pretty much, yeah. Nice. That's the ultimate goal, is 12A turbo and auto. That's always been the goal, but just money and stuff like that. So <laughs> I'll just keep enjoying it till I run that 14 and, and just keep saving. Exactly, man, definitely. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed BJ's beautiful 1000 Ute. Thanks, guys. BJ, thanks for your time, man. Yeah, too easy, mate. Great to meet you. That wraps up this episode, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you're following us on Insta. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.